What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. My name is Chris, thank you so much for joining me. On this channel, we talk about building an online store. I have a couple of improvements to share with you guys. One, I'm now adding a third row of boxes down the middle of my storage unit. Um, that's gonna add a lot of space for me. I'll be able to grow my capacity for inventory to a much higher amount. Also, um, as you guys know, I used to use a, a clothespin system. So what that meant was in this bin, let's say number 56, um, there would be 30 clothespins and I would clip a clothespin on an item and I would fill this up with 30 items. And then after when I sold the item, I would recycle the clothespin and the, the bin would always stay full. Now, I decided I didn't want to use that system this time because once I get through all 1000 bins, so I used to have 600 bins. Now with this new system, I can go to 1000. So I'll have 1000 boxes in my storage system here. When I get to number 1000, I'm gonna start over and go back to bin number one and go into it and make sure bin number one is listed. Make sure all the items in there are actually listed, adjust the pricing because by that time, it'll be about five or six months of going through all of the inventory again. And if it hasn't sold, I wanna find out what's wrong with that item. Maybe it's not even listed. So I wanna make sure I get that inventory system done. I could use the clothespin system, but then I would need 30,000 clothespins and I don't really wanna do that. And hopefully if I do, if I do my job right, the item should sell within six months. So hopefully by the time I get back to zero, the items will have been sold. Also, these wire bins are like the ones that a lot of people use in restaurants and they're actually on caster, so they can roll back and forth because the space in between here is a little bit limited. It's all right, but you can actually just push the shelf back if you need a little bit more space to get in there and move something, which is nice. Also, um, these are six rows high and my Husky shelves from Home Depot are five rows high. So I found that in storage units, sometimes there's light fixtures or piping. So that stuff sometimes makes it so the shelves on the side can't reach all the way to the ceiling, but usually those pipes and lighting fixtures aren't down the center um, from my experience. So this is cool. As long as you have a step stool, you can go six shelves high, which is even more efficient than five because as you guys know, vertical space is, is great. So as I build out this third unit, um, I'm also really, really excited about eBay because the better I get at it, the earlier I can go home for the day, which is exciting because I have a newborn. I have narrowed down my tasks with the baby to just a short checklist. And guys, it has helped me a lot. When you are trying to get a baby to go to sleep, there's, a, there's like a checklist of things that you need to make sure that the baby has in order for it to go to sleep. And if it doesn't sleep well and your baby is overtired or over hungry, your life is gonna be very miserable. So I was just thinking to myself, I need that same checklist for my store. I need that same checklist for myself because if you go home at the end of the day, you're super tired, your spouse is super tired, your baby is super tired, prepare yourself for a horrible evening because everyone's gonna be in a bad mood, no one's gonna get to sleep, which is basically gonna make the next day horrible too. So all these little checklists and things that I'm talking about to increase your productivity, it all starts to add up. So at the end of every day, I'm looking around to see what else I can do. And it's really, really helping me think about what do I need to prepare so the next day goes a little bit easier so I can get done earlier, go home earlier to what I find uh, to be more important in my life, which I value family above business, but I also understand that having a great business allows me to actually spend more time with my family. Having a bad business though, is usually the reason for a broken family. If you're not making enough money, that really stresses out every single thing in the family. So I wanna make sure I do the best job I can at protecting every single thing in my store, keeping my account health the best I can. And also, there's a, I've had a bunch of realizations this week, uh, maybe because I got a little bit more sleep in the first month. We're, we're in month or we're in week four now of the newborn and we can almost bottle feed. So that will be very exciting for me. Um, our baby is now maybe three to three and a half hours between feedings. So I don't really mind getting up in the middle of the night and trying to help out um, with the feeding. And people will, will ask like, how can you help with the feeding? Well, there's just a couple of things that I can help with. I can make sure that she has water. I can make sure she has a snack. I can make sure that the, um, that the angle is right for the baby. I can, I can tickle the baby's feet. There's a few things that I can do to be proactive, but honestly, it is mentally much more taxing for my wife. That's why I want to be there to help. And I really don't mind because there's so much stuff in my eBay store that's, written out 
Um, or I've done it so many times that I kind of get it. So even if I'm super tired, I'm not making as many mistakes as I used to because the process is almost the same. Now, the difference between me running a 15,000 item store and a 30,000 item store, which is where I want to go, is just having less different ways of doing it. I need to have a more specific, a more exact way of doing it that will allow me to scale to that next level. And at that point, I'll be able to hire a manager if I want and not even go to work. So the biggest time savings would be to actually own your business and have all of the processes in the store contracted out to someone to take care of it for you. So that's what I want. I want a business to business relationship with all the people that are in here doing specific things. You're supposed to ship it to the right person, sign right here. You're supposed to list it, sign right here. And that's how I wanna do it when I'm working with a plumber. Hey, fix my pipes. This is what I agree to. This is how much it is. This is how long it's gonna take, done. That's how I wanna treat it. If it's, if it's like a, your uncle is fixing your plumbing, you can't really tell your uncle when to come. You don't know uh, what tools he's gonna use. He's not gonna give you a time frame. He, it's gonna be difficult to figure out how much he's gonna charge you or if he's doing it for free. I don't want any relationships like that. That's why personally, I don't have any family working for me. Not that I don't trust my family. It's just that it can get fuzzy because there's contracts in there that are informal. And I'm just trying to get my work done in the least amount of time but not in less time than it needs. So the fastest way to run your eBay business, the best way to get to where you wanna go is to make as little mistakes as possible. So take it from me, do not grow too fast. So every time I make a little improvement, it's okay. But anytime I make a large improvement, that's kind of where I get into trouble. So I made a few adjustments that took me from 70 listings a day to 200 listings a day, and I was growing way too fast for my skill level. So there was some defects that were starting to pop up. But now that I've been running at this level for a couple of months, I'm actually getting more efficient, I'm spending less time, and there's a way, way, way less mistakes happening in my store, which is the name of the game. I don't wanna go back and do it again. So there's, you know the saying, if it's worth doing, it's worth, put in the comment section below. If it's worth doing, it's worth blank, blank. So that saying has really stuck with me because I really just wanna do this one time. I just wanna get rich one time. I just wanna be married one time. I just want um, my kid to visit me when I get older. So hopefully you do the best job you can at the, and then when they, then they turn of age, they actually visit you, but you don't know. You know, you don't know, That's that, there's no guarantee in that. So I'm just gonna do the best job that I can and I'm gonna try to sneak in some nuggets in there. There's a couple things that I'm gonna try to do. They say that, you know, if you create the right environment, you can get kids to do something. Personally, I would like my kid to like running and like reading. So I don't know how I'm going to program my kid to do that, but that would be epic if I can pull that off because if she likes to read and she likes to run, I feel like she can transfer that to other parts of her life. So hopefully I can psychologically program that into her by just subliminal, maybe I'll just whisper, I love running into her ear as she's sleeping every single night. Oh, also, this is a, a baby tip that I just made up. As the baby is falling asleep at night, I'm trying this, this, this strategy that I just, I literally just made up. So for her, at the end, of, if she's getting tired, the sleepy cues as they call them, she'll start to like, want, her eyes are, will wander off and she'll start, she'll start kind of dozing off but i want to accelerate that process because i'm ready to go to sleep too so i've just been gently rubbing her eyelids shut they're touching them shut like this and it works <laughs> it's making the baby close her eyes and just keep them shut it's almost like an object in motion stays in motion so if i just gently caress her eyelids shut she falls asleep a few seconds earlier and for me i think i'm a genius but really maybe that maybe that's a common a common thing that people do but i don't know i'm a beginner and i think it's important i'm gonna leave you guys on that note smash the like button consider subscribing if you find this type of information useful for your store but it's really important to think things that are in motion stay in motion so i'm just thinking if you want to sleep start moving in that direction if you want to um, create a new foot photography setup just read stuff related to photography if you Look for photos that you like and then try to copy it. Just whatever it is that you're trying to do or try and fix, just start slowly moving that direction. You don't have to 180, stop everything and do something. Just slowly drift in the right direction and you're going to find yourself exactly where you want to be in less time than you think. So I appreciate you guys. Please join my Facebook group. I'm doing it with seller Tekken Sports. He is going to do $2 million this year selling pre-owned items from the thrift store. I think 
he might be the, the person that's the most successful ever at doing that. So appreciate your guys' time. Join our Facebook group. It's $34.99 per month. If you don't make more money, we'll give you your money back, but it's really not possible. Just share what you're working on and hundreds of people will give you the answer you're looking for. Take care, guys.